Good luck, Cai. I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister. Really happy to be here virtually to share with you some thoughts around the role to information in the digital age illustrated by a eight-year-old project that I personally participated in before becoming a digital minister. In 2014, Taiwan does have a Sunshine Act that mandates the filing of the campaign donation expense records for the legislative campaigns. However, the control of the publication of that data is in the Control Yuan or Jian Cha Yuan, a dedicated branch in the government. At the time, the Sunshine Law says, well, only the Control Yuan has the data, that is the detailed data, but anyone can file uh, freedom of information requesting only a4 paper copies with watermarks and you have to actually go into the control unit building to get it. The problem is the investigative journalist, data journalist, has long argued that without the kind of structured data, they cannot do the independent analysis. But the proposals back in 2014, well, they were scheduled for parliamentary deliberation, uh, but it's not actually passed. So, the citizens in the G0V or Gov0 community, well, including yours truly, saw the way. Some of us walked into the control unit building, brought out the A4 paper copies. Another group in the Gov0 digitalized these copies, scanned them into large pictures. Yet another group divided each individual spreadsheet cell into its own small image, and yet another group crowdsourced people to turn like solving a captcha to ask people to complete this crowdsourcing game together so that each cell has at least three people looking after it and then digitizing its content. So in a sense, the crowdsourced reverse engineering was done in 2014 for a few selected legislators. And we call it the OCR of otaku, character recognition. However, um, of course, this the control unit said you can't be sure, even if each cell has three people looking into it, you can't be sure it's 100% accurate. To which the Gov0 people said, yeah, which is why the legislative yuan should actually mandate you publish the actual structured data. We do this simply to establish the norm and also the data format for the structured data. Now, independent investigative journalists actually took notice. So one of them in the Reader Project in 2017 went all the way back to all the legislators to the 2016 session and digitized it using the same method themselves. And then Gov0 again relaunched the crowdsourced um, impact project so that people collaboratively also reverse engineer the 2008 and 2012 legislative session campaign donation records. So at that point, the legislation was like, okay, whether we uh, change the law on sunshine or not, people are going to have access to the structured data anyway. So this outside game compelled first the administration to propose a change for the amendment, and then finally the very next year, in 2018, the Political Donation Act was formally amended to require published detailed data on the internet. And of course, this applied to the mayoral elections that year. When the control unit actually published that, uh, in the online platform that year, we first discovered well, the social media advertisements were exempt. Well, not really exempt, but they're not technically campaign donations. So they were simply not filed and listed into that record. And some other data sources revealed that jurisdictions outside of Taiwan, even those that has no Facebook access, actually um, sponsored a lot of money on political and social advertisements. And after correlating the political campaign donation records and the sponsorship for political and social advertisements on some social media platforms, we concluded, well, that's one of the major way that foreign interference has on the Taiwanese election landscape in 2018. So we went to Facebook. Instead of passing any particular act, we simply said, well, look, there is a norm on honest campaign donation and expenses. This is the Taiwanese norm. 
No matter what Facebook and other social media companies do in other jurisdictions, at least here, people want to, well, they go to the lengths of occupying the control yuan printer uh, to actually reverse engineering those records. So they may face a similar level of outside game of social sanction if they do not at least publish the political and social advertisement leading to campaign elections in the exactly same norm as the campaign donations, which is, of course, banning interference sponsorship from outside of our jurisdiction, which means, of course, even after the advertisement is taken down, it should still be published in exactly the same way. Well, Facebook and other social media companies signed this self-regulatory accord and simply publish it according to the local norm. And so I call this a people-public-private partnership, where the people sets the norm, the public sector amplifies the norm, and then the private sector implement, adheres to the norm. Now, forwarding to 2021, I'm really happy to report, as part of our Open Government National Action Plan, we commit to extend this, not just to the national level or mayoral level elections, but all the local elections should also be published adhering to the same norm. And we will do that by the end of this year. And as part of the commitment, we also want to expand to related party transactions. That is to say, not just in the officially filed campaign donation expense report, but also the actual beneficiaries information, many information on the related, like personally owned organizations of that political campaign candidates, and many, many more. And we will offer this not just for the control UN or the legislative UN, but actually for all the people on this planet to help us to hold all the elections accountable to ensure a fair, a transparent access to not just information, but data. I want to leave you uh, with this remark by Lao Tzu thousands of years ago, who said, Who can by stillness, little by little, make what is troubled grow clear? And who can by movement, little by little, make what is still grow quick? Thank you for listening. Live long and prosper.